Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be making a couple swivel pins. Like these right here. Just a real simple tapered operation. They're for Apprentice 21 vise. I do have the dimensions right here. If you want to check them out, make your own. I don't have a dimensional drawing drawn up or anything. So this is just a really simple operation here. So as you can see here, maybe not so good, let me zoom you in. As you can see, I keep my taper attachment locked down to the angle of these because I make them so frequently. And this, uh, this angle, it's a six point, I believe it's 6.8 degrees. Yes, 6.8 and a half degrees. It's pretty common on uh, quite a few different models, so I mainly leave it on this. And that doesn't affect me when I'm, when I'm turning because it's, it's uh, rolling with it. What I have to do is lock the table clamp down after we get some of these chips off here. I have been using this today. So we're going to get this all cleaned up. is turned off here by the way I don't like to lean over it like this when it's turned on but I've had an issue since I purchased this lathe the previous owner stripped this hole out and broke the top of it out broke the casting so that's just something I haven't fixed yet I've been putting it off I've got a piece of brass here that's thicker which might allow us to uh, get this jaw opened up enough. We would probably have to re-indicate that. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Let's check the run out. Let's hope that turns out of there. I don't think any of it is from... No, that, ch that chuck's still running true. So our run out's in our material here. Oh, great. broken somehow. And we're not taking anything crazy, so we're not going to live center that. Hopefully we don't need to. Very soon I need to make me a jig to sit on here. That's not cleaning it up. stream of coolant we're gonna take like 15 thou off the diameter
that's an ugly finish. Getting to use our new mic quite a bit. Love this thing. Okay, so we're shooting for 846. And we are at 8527. Five two seven. Eight five two seven. Okay. So we are right where we want to be. We're just going to take a little cleanup pass, up the RPMs a bit. Okay, so we need to take off six thousandths. We're just going to take off five total and then sand it down. These are not super critical, but I've got some numbers in mind that, that I want to hit. Okay, we're running 648 RPMs. We're going to drop our feed down from uh, uh, 17 thou down to about Thou. Let the clutch kick in. And what is wrong with this thing? I think it's getting clogged up. I'm sure there's all kinds of nastiness down there. Slow cleanup pass here. Forty-six and a half. That's right where we want to be. Half foul over. And these aren't precise dimensions. These are, you know, get it close because these are actually dimensions that I gathered myself. I don't have a digital readout for this lathe, so I just use my indicators right here. And I mount one on the uh, compound. And this is actually my first video that I've talked in on uh, with my lathe. This is a, if I haven't told you before, this is a 1966 LeBlanc. It's a tool and die maker model. 16 inch swing by 54 inch center to center. Just run the carriage up and we put this little stop on. 
We're just locking our taper lock down. And then run the carriage forward. And we'll do all our work on the compound here. That's, that's how we'll be feeding in our uh, depth diameter. And then we need some oil somewhere right here. There we go. Just lube the crap out of it. And then we'll lock the bed down, which is off camera here, but lock the carriage down. I mean the table clamp. Carriage clamp, whatever you want to call it. So our taper length is 1.725. So we will get our calipers dialed into that, 1.725. Helps if the lathe is on. fluid on there. Give it a minute to dry. Okay, so we just scribe us a line and that's where we're tapering to. And there's about a 1 8 inch uh, undercut that'll be going right here, just a little groove for looks, really. But that helps us have a uh, good stop in place. Probably should have undercut it first, but I like to work backward. You know, you know the routine. And I would normally run coolant, but it's interfering with the camera. We got our feed going the wrong way. Kick it up in the pretty fast feed. surface finish is going to be pretty ugly until our final cuts. The reason I'm taking small passes is because of the stick out here. I don't have a long live center that can go in the end. It causes some interference with my tool. Time for some finished passes now. We'll run that here in just a second. We're gonna kick the feet down. Well, go on. Kick the feed down to about 10 again. Seventh thou pass. A very slow seventh thou pass. I'm sorry the camera's crooked. This was the best spot to put you. You're actually sitting in the chip pan. Oh 
I'm going to take a fourth out pass here, so two per side. Yeah, I need to adjust my brake, I know. Oh yeah, that needs nothing. And I keep this bolt in there just to keep chips out of it. But it's pretty cross-threaded, see how loose that is? Keep chips out of the hole because digging chips out is no fun. And then unlock the table clamp. Hello. There we go. Introduced a tiny bit of run out on that. I'm not sure why you thought you could just get in the way like that, but I don't approve. Alright, so we're just going to count the turns, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 450, and 525. <clears throat> So that's where we're at on the pin. I'm actually gonna make that a little larger. I'm gonna do 550. And we're just gonna go in with the parting tool for a second. for this edge here if we can. I'm not sure if we can get close enough without hitting that chuck. Oh yeah, just barely.
didn't mean to kick you. Quit being so soft. Whoa, whoa. Zero. Holy crap, I'm taking a shower here. Just part her straight off here. That's it. And we leave that little ugly piece on there just for, uh, you know, that's my maker's mark. I'm not going to bore you to death making about 10 more. So just very lightly. Just got to be cleaned up some. It's just a simple pen. To the grinder. Anyway guys, we got our pen made here. Just gonna get it cleaned up. Like I said, this one's for my buddy right here. So just a quick job. He's been waiting for about a month now. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and there's some uh, a lot more lathe content coming. I'm currently working on, well while, when you're watching this, I will be working on the uh, spindle repair so that's going to be a really fun job well thank you guys for watching and if you subscribe like comment share it to your facebook share it with your friends that would really help out we're almost to 300 subscribers right now and i really appreciate it just appreciate all the support and i'll catch you next time thanks